It all started in February, and on day one, we, we brought our learners, around 22 of them, to Science Center. They had a visit to various labs, and I must say that um, the learners were so excited. They said it was the most fascinating thing, because unlike being contained in high school setup, so, and then after that, there was a workshop on day two, where I, together with other teachers from around Naivasha, co-created a lesson on DNA extraction. That, and it is after a series of discussions and we saw which was the best uh, concept to be taught. And we actually saw that it was very important to introduce biotechnology to high school learners rather than what happens nowadays, like um, biotechnology is just mentioned as a branch of biology and that is it. So learners in high school have no idea of what about technologies, careers in biotechnology. So it's high time we introduce it to high school learners. The teacher, she um, asked for us to join the other learners in the sessions. So we decided to come and see what, what are they doing. Yeah, then it was really fun. So they extracted DNA from various fruits, but, uh, but let me use bananas for instance. So the process was very simple. So they would crush them uh, using a mortar and a pestle. Then we added a um, sodium chloride solution. Then after that, we sieved um, the specimen to acquire the juice only of the bananas. Then we added soap solution. After that, we added um, uh, spirit to precipitate the DNA then we were able to extract the DNA I didn't know we could do that in school you know um, in normal normally we thought that DNA can only be extracted in hospitals it was so amazing very amazing and it, it, it felt so good to know how to extract a DNA and also to reach out to other people outside there and to know how they work and to see other people, uh, other great people out there. And I, I truly love it. So each session we engaged 50 learners, 10 groups. So that means one group had five learners. Some of the learners actually really wanted to participate, but time was not on our side. But I must appreciate that the 400 learners we engaged actually explained to the rest. And they actually, some of them went ahead to do DNA extraction at home because they already had the procedure with them. After visiting Kenya Agricultural and Research, uh, Livestock and Research Organization, we also received clean cuttings of tissue cultured cassava. So we were told it is improved, it is drought resilient, uh, and each school actually received three cuttings. So one for the coordinator and uh, two for the student leaders. So we actually planted ours on March that. Okay, we have had some challenges, but scientists have solutions. So we came up with solutions and they're actually doing well. And actually, the, the, the two student leaders actually went ahead and explained about tissue cultured cassava and its importance to the other learners. So, and we are looking forward to having such because through tissue culturing, we are able to produce a lot of food. So we are looking forward to producing more cuttings from the same end, propagating. Yeah. About cassava plant, yeah, we were given and we planted it here in school and the problem was all about water limit because it was just introduced here in our school and in the Russia as well. So the problem was just how to maintain the crop because we used we used to water the crop regularly and even after it came to grow so we used to mulch it because since it uh, survives on the dry or hot condition it doesn't mean that it, it doesn't need a lot of water or any amount of water so we used to mulch for the crop at least to survive <laughs> <laughs> okay siphon program was really fun for students actually um, before we thought science is a boring subject, the science subjects, but after we were, we participated in 
the sessions, the DNA extraction, it really impacted our attitude towards science subjects. Yeah. Yeah, I can say before the program, science was a little bit boring because they didn't see the impact of science. But afterward, after the extraction, after seeing some things like a server and how they are granted, how we can make them develop maybe an area, it, it built this positive, positive attitude toward science and I can see there is an improvement in our school and people and the students have come to love science. In fact, uh, we, it, with the presence of Dr. Fad, it is very, very useful, very much useful, because he is the one who is has been encouraging us so much in this program, very much helping us. So with that, it has it really changed. Today, as we speak, most of them, uh, they would like to pursue uh, courses in science. So it has really changed. I must say that it's unfortunate that our learners are not fully exposed to science. Yeah, a lot needs to be done. And I think uh, this is a good start, such a project actually. And I really hope that curriculum developers are, are going to adopt this or maybe what happens in those developed countries. Maybe that's why they are developed because they introduce these things right from high school. So why don't we do such?